Hi guys, in this video, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make a side-by-side -side histogram. In other words, two histograms on one graphics device. And why would you need that? Need that? Well, in some cases, you want to be able to compare two groups, and the best way to see them is to visually have them next to each other. So, what do I mean? Well, in the previous video, we made a histogram of the mortality variable at different levels of the ocean variable. So in other words, we made a histogram of mortality at the level of ocean, yes. And this is what that looks like. And then we went ahead and we did the same histogram at level no of ocean. And this is what that looks like. Now in order, I think it would be very convenient to have these two side by side. And in order to do that, you can use the command par mf row equals c and then here you're going to put the number of rows that you want in your graphics device and we want one row comma the number of columns you want in the graphics device and we want two columns close parentheses twice and now we will run the yes histogram and you see it created the histogram on the left side of the graphics device and, and it will up arrow to the no histogram we created earlier and you see that it put that on the right side so in other words we have two histograms right on one graphics device and this is in, in uh, uh, R lingo this is a graphics device right this guy right here now this par mf row created this device, split this device into one row, and that's one row, and two columns. And that's what I meant by columns. So there's two columns here. And you can make this any number size you, you want. You know, as long as uh, you're doing it for practical purposes, there's, a, there's no limit to, to what you can create with this command. There's also a layout command that does a very similar thing and gives you actually some more flexibility and sometimes I do use that. You use the layout command along with the matrix command and you can also split up a graphics device similarly. But now let's take a little look at what we've created here, these two histograms. We can see now that the histogram for mortality with ocean level of yes is quite different than the histogram for mortality at, at ocean level no. And we have some maybe uh, heuristic method of uh, opening up an investigation of whether these two groups are coming from the same underlying population. It's just a question and that's what graphical devices do. They uh, make you think about what directions you want to pursue, further pursue in your analysis. So anyway, without getting any further, I hope this was helpful. It's a great tool and it kind of looks cool once you've uh, all made some nicer titles and uh, maybe axis labels, but I'm not spending too much time on that. There's other videos I've created that deal with that. Uh, so till next time, be sure to check out my channel. Subscribe while you're there. I got tons of Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Stats, and R videos, of course. And also click on our sponsor's ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.